I'm Kevin, and welcome to the channel. What I have here today is called an Apogee One audio interface. It's for iPhone and iOS. Now, a couple years ago, I started recording, and I was looking for a audio interface that I could use that was simple, and yet, if I wanted to try to use it for portability, that I would uh, be able to do that. So. I looked around at a bunch of different audio interfaces and like most of you, I looked on the internet and seen a lot of tests between the quality of the different preamps and converters. And every time I seen one with this Apogee One, it was heads and shoulders above all the rest. So that's really the main reason why I got it. And the fact that it's easy to use, there's not very many, you know, there's not a whole lot of buttons. And I just wanted something simple that I could put my ideas down on like GarageBand and just get started, get my toes wet in recording because I used to get very frustrated before trying to get into the bigger DAWs and stuff. So now that I've owned this for a couple of years, I thought, will this still give you great quality recording in 2024 and i say yes i think it's a wonderful little device so i use this for a podcast i use this to record songs on this channel and i use it for everything you can hear it now i'm running through an audio technica 2035 right now and I want to show you a little bit of the converters and the preamps through some acoustic guitar and uh, a little bit of vocals. But first, let's get to the unboxing and see what comes in the box. For the most part, it's packed really well. It's got this little foam thing that wraps the actual unit in itself. Um, as you can see, it looks like it's something that would be in a Mac. And um, it has this little funky holder. It works, but it's kind of weird. So I like to use something to hold it on there because it wants to slip slide around a little bit. Because the unit is pretty stout for its size. And here is the unit itself. Uh, the buttons clicks really nice and it's very sturdy. This is all the indicators for the different outputs. And there's the mic right there. You have the output for the adapter, the USB cable, and the breakout cable. Here's where you put the batteries in right there. Two double A's I think is what it is. And uh, right here's for the headphone. And all in all, it's a pretty stout little unit. Came with a lightning cable for to plug in your iOS device and whatnot. It also came with a USB cable, but I had it over here. So let me grab that real quick so you can see what that is. Here is the infamous breakout cable. As you can see, it's not the greatest quality build-wise, but it does work, and it plugs it plugs in fine. The first one I did, I was a little bit rough with it, and I shorted it out, so I had to buy a new one. But the other one I've had for over a year and a half, and it didn't. It's not giving me any issues whatsoever. Here's the end for the breakout cable. You can see the little arrow right there. It tells you, you know, it, which way to go in. So the arrow means that's the top part of it. And you just plug it right in and it clicks into the space and it feels good when it clicks in there you don't have to worry about any of that it's uh it really is a outstanding little unit to be honest with you and this is the ac adapter they make it to where you could actually take it to europe if you wanted to there's like four different fittings for different voltages around the world you know it's kind of cool but how you do that is it's got a little uh thumb deal there you pull that down and then you click it in the spot and it stays right in there and then you take your thumb and you or your finger and you push it back and you can pull that off of there 
and you know if you live in the states and you don't go anywhere then you don't have to worry about it but i thought it was kind of a cool idea anyway that it does have that and then it came with some paperwork and whatnot but you know it is what it is <laughs> So that's pretty much what I got in the box when it came out brand new, so. So even though this is an older unit, I think it was made in, I think they started making them in uh, 2013. It is outstanding. Um, one of the cool things about this is it has a built-in condenser mic, which, you know, uh, it's a studio quality mic and it really sounds great also it is a audio interface in which you just plug it into your computer or your ios device and you can also connect a guitar or bass to the line input on the breakout cable you can actually run an internal mic and plug your guitar in and run both channels off the same time it also has a great headphone amp and converters in it so when you're listening back on it the the uh the playback on it is incredibly good like it's it is quality stuff it feels quality when you pick up pick it up and and handle it too also you know it works great with your ios device you can travel with it um it takes batteries I think two AA batteries will power it up for a little while. You could also use it to charge your iOS device. If you use the uh, cable to plug it in, it'll charge your device while it's being used. And all in all, I think it's a really great, really great uh, device to have, even in 2024. The going rate, when I bought mine, uh, I bought this one as a brand new kind of old stock, and it was still sealed, but I paid 250 bucks for it and uh that was two two to th two and a half years ago now i was looking on uh ebay and reverb here yesterday and now they're going for like 90 bucks 80 bucks 100 bucks something like that so considering the outstanding converters and preamps that come in this thing you cannot go wrong with with getting it plus you can still get updates or whatnot through apogee um i've never had an issue with any of that stuff um, the one thing that I have had very, well, I had one issue with was the fact that the breakout cable broke on me. So I had to buy a new breakout cable, but it was 20 bucks. And that's the only thing about this that I don't like is that damn breakout cable. So let's give it a listen and see if you can hear what I hear. I have some Piazzo pickups in my guitar. So uh, I will be plugging it in and using the line in for that. And then using the internal mic that comes with the Apogee one for actually miking the guitar. So my guitar will have two tracks, one line in and one mic. train down that station Lord I don't care where it goes I'm gonna climb a mountain the highest mountain jump off ain't no one gonna know can't you see can't you see what that woman she been doing to me But can't you see But can't you see What that woman She been doing to me So what do y'all think? I think the preamps in this thing are awesome and the ADDA converter is top-notch. Um, if there's anything I missed, 
please let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly address the issues. Like I said, I've only been really seriously trying to get better at recording for the last two years and this one piece of equipment here has been outstanding. I have not had one issue with anything other than me trying to learn and get better at recording. And I would say, especially nowadays, since they're only like around $100, you can find them even cheaper than that, but I would say probably right around $100, it would beat any other $100 audio interface out there right now, I think. So if you're on a budget, if you're money's a little bit tight and you don't mind buying used gear i would look for one of these on ebay i i mean they are really good so all that being said i really think this is a great audio interface especially for somebody starting out or as a singer songwriter even a guitar player at this point what was your first audio interface i would really love to know uh leave it in the comments below please like the video if you like it dislike it if you don't don't matter to me and uh, we will see you on the next one. Thank you.